In this short video lesson I would like to present you a way of binary overlay method to assess the uh, possibility of hang slides and also some kind of rock faults. Therefore we will need three layers. We have here the digital elevation model, the slope layer the, which is presented in degrees and also the layer of aspect. For this lesson we will surely need the spatial analyst and also the raster calculator so make sure that in, uh, if you're going to tools and therefore extensions you will have checked the spatial analyst and maybe also the 3D analyst tool. So let's start over. First of all we will need to reclassify all these three layers for uh, several aspects so we will um, yeah, different or differentiate between uh, possibilities of um, height so we will say okay if um, the digital elevation model here is above 1500 meters so the height is above that um, or the altitude then we will say okay the resulting layer which is dam bin should have the value of 1 otherwise it will be 0 and therefore we will go on so we we assume that if a slope is above 30 percent or 30 degrees in that case uh, we will have the um, yeah increased possibility of rocks or of a rock fall or a slide or some kind of um, slope instability and for that so if the slope is above 30 degrees we will have uh, the value of one otherwise it will be zero and also we have the possibilities of the aspect so if the aspect uh, or if the slope is um, is heading to the north then it surely yeah, has some higher amplitudes and um, or some higher erosion risk as we can see in the Eiger Nordwand so um, we will say okay if the aspect is less than 25 which is north to northeast or the aspect is above 30 35 degrees which is northwest to north then it should be one otherwise it should be zero so we will use the raster calculator to calculate these three layers we will start with with the first one we we'll just copy and paste that one here so you can see dam bin is the conditional conditional statement of um, the expression dam above 1500 meters uh, if this test is successful the pixel will be uh, will be given the number or the value of one otherwise it will be zero so let's evaluate that one there we go so you see one is marked in blue and zero is marked in red so let's do that again for the slope check back again to slope okay once again, please don't miss the, um, yeah, I don't know the uh, English word for it, the Leerzeichen. And make sure that the statement is uh, written correctly in the raster calculator, Other guy, otherwise you will get some really strange failures and you can do a lot of it. So, and here you should, you should see the OR statement. So we will not only test one, like uh, below 25 or up, above 3035 we will combine these two in a binary statement and say okay if it's one case or the other and so we have now three layers and in the end we will um, yeah make the sum of them so we will create a new layer that is uh, risk is the same as okay and now in the rest of the calculator you can just click or double click them aspect bin plus then bin plus slope bin and evaluate this one and you will have a certain layer where you have marked in with zero none of these features is uh, pre or is present and otherwise if you have the number of three then all three features are present the main disadvantage of the system is that you cannot divide or, or say okay if we just have a number of one which is um, yeah not so affected from rock faults and etc you cannot defer between uh, the aspect the slope or the dam which causes a problem in that in that pixel so this is one disadvantage but Otherwise, it's a good way of um, yeah 
making some kind of risk map very easy and yeah somehow nice thanks <laughs>